Fox 19 now, newly released dash cam video showing a police chase that ends in the river. Yeah, the Ohio State Highway Patrol says in the middle of a chase, the suspect that they were after ran out of the road and right into the water. Ken Brown's live with video you'll only see right here on Fox 19 now. Ken, did he not know the river was there? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to say no. Right behind me is West 6th Street in Franklin, and we're standing in the parking lot that, the, at the dead end of that road. Time for a little show and tell. I'm going to spin the camera around here, give you a nice little look at the parking lot. The suspect in this case drove right through this parking lot. We'll zoom in on this here so you can see he actually hit that uh, parking lot block at the end there and went into the river at the end of this chase. So it's pretty safe to say that wasn't exactly familiar with West 6th Street in Franklin. The Ohio State Highway Patrol gets behind this Dodge Charger for going 95 in a 65 mile per hour zone. As troopers get out to speak with the driver, he decides to take off. Right. Go, go, go. Troopers say the driver they're following is 29 year old Darian Strickland from Cincinnati. They would later learn Strickland was driving without a license and he was allegedly under the influence behind the wheel on this night. The Highway Patrol follows Strickland up 75 and into Franklin. That's where officers with the Franklin Police Department jump in front and take over. It's also where this chase takes a dangerous turn. He's going to crash out, he's going to crash out, he's going to crash out. He's on the uh, bike path into the river, into the river, roll fire rescue. As the car rolls into the river, police would learn that Strickland wasn't the only person in the vehicle. Car is confirmed in the river, car is in the river, car is in the river. They're in the river. Strickland had a 19-year-old woman in the vehicle with him. She was not charged. Hey, police department! Show me your hands right now! Show me your hands! I can see you! Strickland has been charged with a third-degree felony for fleeing and eluding, an OVI, driving without a license, failure to control, and jail records indicate he also violated the terms of his parole. So after the crash, Strickland was actually taken to the hospital for treatment. Once he was released from there, he was taken to the Warren County Jail. That's where he remains today as he awaits his next court appearance date and time to be set. Reporting live in Franklin, Ken Brown, Fox 19 now. Thank you, Ken Brown.